Hello viewers, welcome to our channel. In these Tech Talks videos, we mostly provide you with some quick and handy information to our existing products. Today, we are going to dedicate uh, these Tech Talks to show you all the models of our leading and worldwide most known product line Gehaltimeters. My name is Victoria. I am team leader for the quality control product management team in Penta Half Month and Fenlo. And today I'm together with my colleague Christian. He is one of our quality control managers also here in Fenlo. Today we will demonstrate you all the models of all the models of our gehaltometers, what is in the scope of supply, how to connect the instrument to a sampling point, how to regulate the flow, and we'll also give you some insights in the measurement. So let's get started. What is actually a gehaltometer? This is an instrument which measures the amount of CO2 and or oxygen in the product, which is in the pipeline or in the keg. Let's first have a look at the four models of the Gehaltometers in our portfolio. These are GMD, ODGM, IDGM, and CDGM. All instruments uh, will be delivered with the sampling, uh, sampling tubes. Uh, these are for the digital ones, and these are for the GMD. And the measurement principle of all uh, the instruments is based on uh, two parameters, uh, pressure and temperature. GMT, this is our oldest instrument, and this is the first generation of Gehaltometers. It is a simple and non-digital measure to measure the amount of CO2. Here we have an instrument with a built-in thermometer and a built-in manometer. Once you have measured uh, the, uh, the pressure and the temperature, you can put it uh, in the ruler, which is going to calculate uh, the amount of CO2 for you. So this is, uh, uh, this is a very simple but not digital uh, uh, option to measure the CO2. This instrument will also have uh, the handle to, uh, can, uh, to carry it around and uh, the, um, the service set. The other instrument uh, to uh, measure the uh, CO2 or oxygen are these three instruments. They are digital ones. They are, uh, the same parameters are being used, so pressure and temperature to get the value of CO2. However, these parameters are already put in the software of the instrument, so they will be automatically calculated and, put, and uh, appear on the display once the measurement is uh, done. These instruments uh, will be supplied uh, with a bumper for the IDGM and for the CDGM, or this smaller bumper for the ODGM, and also with a service set. We also have uh, the manual, which is supplied nowadays on a USB stick, and you can put it and print out uh, uh, if you want. The instruments like EDGM uh, is uh, measuring uh, only CO2, ODGM is measuring only oxygen, and the CDGM is measuring both uh, CO2 and O2. So now we get acquainted with the whole portfolio. We want uh, to show uh, uh, you how to make uh, the measurement. Uh, Christian, maybe first we can uh, demonstrate what's needed to have the instrument to be prepared to make the measurement. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, so first of all, we need an instrument. So I will grab our combined instrument, the CO2 and O2 measurement type CDGM. Um, of course, next to the instrument, we will need hoses to connect it to the sample point, wherever that is, in the brewery or in the laboratory. So we have um, two hoses coming with the instrument, and the instrument has two uh, connections um, on the back. So uh, one for the inlet indicated, one for the outlet. So let's connect the hose to the inlet first. So you just apply the quick connector until you hear the click. Make sure that it is uh, fixed appropriately. That would be the inlet. And for the outlet, uh, we do the same. So uh, put it in. So now we are ready to go to wherever to take a sample in the brewery. Okay, so this instrument uh, is prepared. But we have uh, uh, the instrument which is already collect, uh, connected to a sampling point. And there we can uh, use uh, to get uh, better acquainted with the instrument uh, itself. Can you please uh, show us uh, first uh, uh, how the instrument uh, works and what's uh, in the, the display? Yes. Um, so this instrument is already connected. So on the inlet, I've uh, connected uh, a beer and a sample point. Um, I will open the sample point now here. 
Okay, so beer is now up to the instrument. Right. And uh, I ha you see I have the handle closed. I would recommend that uh, mm -hmm. to do, that you don't get wet. And also if you go to a new sample point, uh, see that the throttle valve is closed as well, so that no beer is flushing out. Um, then we have to take care of the outlet hose um, and where to put the beer that is coming out of the instrument. So you can either uh, take a bucket with you um, to put um, the beer in, or there might be a drain near the sample point where you can uh, just drain that hose in. Right. Good. Um, so we are now ready uh, to start a measurement. Let's get acquainted with the instrument itself a little bit more. Right. Um, let's see. Before starting a measurement, of course, you have to uh, choose the right measurement mode of the instrument. How do we do it? Um, I will show you. So you have to um, check the measuring mode in the menu of the instrument. Okay. To do that, um, press the enter button uh, until you see the um, half month logo appearing. Then press once again the enter button to get to the main menu and then go arrow down to the second uh, point measurement choice press enter once again. And here you see that this instrument has uh, seven measurement modes that you can select off. And can you show which measurement modes uh, are in the instrument? Yes, I will quickly introduce you to the measuring modes. So the top one is the combined single CO2 O2 measurement right. to do one single measurement. Um, second point is the uh, O2 measure, uh, CO2 measurement only. Um, third point would be just to do a, a single oxygen measurement. Furthermore, it is possible to do a continuous oxygen measurement, uh, for instance, for logging uh, for, for a quarter of an hour, the oxygen values. We have the possibility to do a combined CO2 measurement and a total package oxygen measurement, TPO. Um, you can also do the TPO, total package oxygen measurement, uh, without CO2 measurement. And you can do uh, a gas measurement in CO2 gas and determine the CO2 purity. Okay, so which uh, one are you suggest to use today to show to our viewers? Yeah, today um, we do the mostly used one on sample points, which would be the single uh, measurement of CO2 combined with oxygen. Right. So I will select the top um, one, press enter, and then we have to go to measuring, press enter once again, and now we can take a sample. And what do we have to pay attention to when we are making a sample? Yeah, as soon uh, as we take a sample, we have to adjust the right flow. So um, for the CO2 measurement, uh, the measuring chamber should be uh, flown through bubble-free, so that you don't have any bubbles. Right. Um, and for the oxygen measurement, um, the uh, flow should not be too high. So it should be about 20 liter per hour. Shall we demonstrate? Just uh, make a measurement and demonstrate how the flow should look like. Yes, let's do that. So everything is prepared. Sample point is open. Um, I just open the, the handle of the instrument. I press on the enter button so that we can already see the oxygen value continuously on the display. And as I have uh, throttled down the throttle valve completely, there is no beer coming out of the uh, hose yet. So to uh, refresh the measuring chamber with beer, I will throttle open a little bit to get uh, beer out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see Let's it coming see. out. So if you see here in the measuring chamber for CO2 measurement, that would be good. But for an oxygen measurement, this flow is a little bit too high. So it's more like horizontal. So I will throttle down a little bit. Okay, and how uh, can you show what is the, other, the good uh, flow and what's the bad flow then? Yeah, let me, let me see. Uh, that's too I much? Will, that's too much. I will reduce it, reduce it. So... 
it should go down directly, uh, like vertical down. Now you see it's bending back, so this is too few. Yeah. So I will increase it a little bit so that it's going, going down like um, vertical. So that's a good one. This would be the good, a good one, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a good flow. Okay, so, so a little it's bit bending back is okay. Approximately 20 liters uh, per hour. That's approximately 20 liters per hour. Right. Okay, so we so are now, now ready we, to go. Exactly. So now, and what are what are what is going on on the instrument? Uh, yeah, on the instrument we see continuously the oxygen value here. It has nicely dropped already. We see the pressure um, from the sample point at the moment and the temperature. And how long do we have to wait? How long do we have uh, to flash the instrument? Yeah, for this combined measurement, uh, we just wait for the oxygen value to be stable, so to flatten out right. to a stable value. And as you can see, yeah, it's already 3 ppb, 4 ppb. Okay, so now it's stable. And what do we right. do next? Yeah, now we just uh, press uh, in the handle and start the CO2 measurement. Okay, let's do it. And what's happening? So now it says uh, electrolysis on the display. We even see it uh, in and the you, measuring chamber. And you see chamber. it in the measuring chamber. That is to accelerate, um, uh, to establish the equilibrium pressure. Um, now the instrument is waiting for a certain time until uh, the equilibrium pressure is reached. That can be predefined this time. And it is placed then at the end um, temperature and pressure on the display. You can. In the right bottom but, uh, corner, you see the oxygen value already that was taken when you closed the handle. Okay, so there are four parameters that we see at the end of the display. Correct. CO2, oxygen, pressure and temperature. Yeah. Now just CO2 appeared. It says uh, 4.92 mm -hmm. uh, grams per liter. Uh, that was the final uh, CO2 value. Great. So Christian, thanks a lot. Now we have seen uh, that uh, the CD chain was uh, connected to a sampling point, but uh, uh, in the same manner you can connect any of our gehaltometers uh, and it can be connected uh, either, CD, uh, either GMT either or IDGM or ODGM. The sampling will be done uh, exactly in the, same, uh, uh, in the same way and you only will see the one or one parameter in this case uh, will be either CO2 or O2. But all these devices, they also can be uh, used versatile and they can be used for measuring for CO2 or CO2 and oxygen already in a package product, uh, so be it a bottle or uh, a can. If you're interested to know how to do it, you can watch our separate Tech Talk video and please see the reference for the video with the sampling device below in the description box. Christian, thanks a lot for your explanation, for your support today. Hopefully uh, you have enjoyed being with us and this video was interesting for you. Stay with our channel if you want to watch some more of our tech talks on the other quality control instruments. And you can subscribe to our channel. To do this, please go to the subscribe button in the description box below the video. If you're interested to know more of our products, uh, you, can, you may go to our web page. The link uh, to the web page will be also described uh, in uh, the box uh, below this video. Thanks for watching us. Hopefully till the next time on Pente Hoffman's Tech Talk channel. Thanks and see you another time.